Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a Appalachian cast iron number 10 skillet. It is a jeweled skillet, very unique design, very beautiful design. As you can see here, it is also made in the USA. So let's give this a go. Now I did see a video on Facebook that he cooked a egg on this. It was dry. We're gonna give that a shot and see how that works. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get this preheating and then we'll give it a go. All right guys, so it has been preheating for about five minutes now. It is warm to the touch, the handle itself. And as you can see, I have not placed anything inside of it. No oil, no butter, no nothing. We're gonna give it a shot. I did see the, actually the founder uh, cook an egg on this without any, uh, any oil or anything like that. It was a dry skillet. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a big mess. I think he actually scrambled his. I don't know if I want to try that. And look at that, guys. It is not sticking. <laughs> to be honest, this is the first, and I am amazed. I'll be honest with you guys. So far, it's working really well. But, um, let's wait and see. We're gonna tone down the heat a little, but so far, as I mentioned, as you can see there, no sticking whatsoever. And uh, this is a dry skillet. We're gonna turn off the heat. It is pretty warm now. We're gonna see how it does. I do want to say that the edges here did uh, did get stuck, but um, towards the center, it looks like they fared a lot better than the sides. Yeah, so the edges did stick, but not a complete mess. I honestly was expecting this to completely fail. And uh, to be honest, so far it has not completely failed. I keep messing with it. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I'm flipping it. I'm making a mess of it, not the skillet. I would say 50% or maybe more non-stick. And all I've done is given it two coats of seasoning with uh, avocado oil. I've also used Crisco and I think I gave it one round of Crisco uh, in the first initial and the other two. So three rounds of seasoning guys. And when I did get this skillet actually it was a darker almost a brownish like a chocolatey color and uh, it has accepted seasoning super well and it has actually turned black with just those three rounds of seasoning. So very impressed. As I mentioned, minimal stickage. And I wanna say it was where it wasn't as hot. So maybe the edges weren't as warmed up as the, the rest of the skillet. But I mean, you guys take a look at that. Fully cooked egg and uh, no issues. And right now we actually broke the yolk. So I am a novice guys, I'm not a professional. But to me, I wanna say this is as non-stick as you want it to be. I mean, there's no oil in the pan. And uh, to me, this is impressive because I've had issues with, uh, and I'll be honest with more expensive pans 
and they don't perform as well as this did. So uh, the Appalachian cast iron skillet is impressive. I'll, I'll give you guys that. It is very impressive. All right, let's see. So yeah, even with the broken yolk, cooking really well, no issues. And as I mentioned, I want to say that the only reason it's stuck over here on this side, on, on this side was because uh, it wasn't possibly hot enough. But overall, very impressed. So there you guys go. With a, um, with no oil, see, no black residue as well. It actually did a great job, guys. Very impressed, very happy with this. See, both sides, I just flipped it. Very impressed. Let's see, I should have brought out a mitt. Actually, I have one here. All right, so just so you guys can see, and I'm not lying, no oil in this pan whatsoever. The only stickage was over here, and that's the corner. And I do want to say that is because it wasn't hot enough. Very impressed with the results. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.